Here is another kidney. You could recognize that right away because you could see that we're in the cortex and we have these little bluer-ish or more purplish uh, glomeruli interspersed between the tubules. Let's look at a couple parts of the kidney, perhaps here, or perhaps here, where we see some large arteries, because that's where the primary pathologic is occurring. We see that this artery is not normal at all. <clears throat> we don't see uniform sheets of smooth muscle fibers. We see an infiltrate of inflammatory cells within the wall of the artery. This is an arteritis. There are multiple arteries like this involved within the kidney. This is a polyarteritis. Notice once again that uh, the necrosis of the wall of the artery has a sort of a granular or fibrinoid appearance like you see here. So this would be referred to once again as fibrinoid necrosis. Notice in this area, the primary infiltrating cell is uh, a uh, neutrophil. And notice that this involves the entire thickness of the uh, blood vessel wall within the kidney. There's something else that's going on here as well. We quickly glossed over all of the glomeruli, but let's look at them a little bit better. They don't look normal, do they? We could see instantly that they have an increase in cellularity and there are some inflammatory cells uh, within the glomeruli as well, perhaps primary mesangial cells, perhaps other uh, inflammatory cells. In addition, there is a uh, something here which I think it's very important for you to see. Notice that in some of the glomeruli, uh, we don't see a uniform pattern at all. We see that some of the uh, pathologic changes take place almost in a crescent-like fashion. In other words, here's a glomerulus, but the worst part of it, the most disruption of the glomerulus is an area off to an edge that looks like a crescent. Uh, you can't see it so much in this one, but I think if we roam around a little bit, uh, you can see that the changes within these glomeruli are not uniform, and some areas, like perhaps this one, has an area shaped like a crescent that is more severely involved than the others. This has also been referred to as a a crescent, crescentic form of glomerulonephritis. And uh, everything else being equal, what it implies clinically and prognostically and very important is that when you see these crescents, like you see them here, this means that the pattern of glomerular damage uh, will usually be rapidly progressive. So the term crescentic uh, glomerulonephritis is often uh, used synonymously with a uh, rapidly progressive pattern of glomerulonephritis clinically. And thank you very much.